Okay, folks, good to see you again. Uh, this is a, a beautiful tune. It's a real standard, a beautiful tune uh, written by Ian Tyson in 1962. And uh, he said he wrote it in like 20 minutes. That's pretty good because it was huge. And everybody's, uh, so many people have recorded it and everybody kind of knows it. It's almost like an anthem, second Canadian anthem in Canada. And people like uh, Neil Young have recorded, and uh, he does it in almost every concert that he plays. And people like Judy Collins and uh, Blue Rodeo, Sarah McLaughlin. Bobby Bear had a hit with it in, in, in country radio years ago. So it's a beautiful song, and um, Basically, uh, because it's like a medium, almost a slow medium tempo. Uh, you don't want to, you don't want to make this a fast kind of fast bluegrass song, right? So um, the chords are not uh, difficult. Again, this this one is in the key of C, so we know the C chord, right? Right there, and. We have a kind of a D minor the first few times around uh, in the first few lines. We use the D minor like this, third fret, fourth string, second fret, third string. You'll see it in the tab. And we stick on, for a melody, and then we stick on the first fret, second string in that formation. Back to a C. And we do it again on the D minor. G chord is mostly open here. I think it, I think it is everywhere. Yeah. Back to C. Again, the D minor form this way. Back to G again. Open. C again. Now the D minor we form. Third fret, first string. Third fret, second string. Second fret, third string. After that, we go to the F, full F chord. And the song ends on the G, on a five chord. It doesn't resolve itself back to uh, the one, the tonic chord, the C chord. So it just ends. Other than that, it's straightforward. The tab, again, I've circled the melody notes. Melody notes are circled in red, so they have to be emphasized a little more. And that one area that I explain, I'll explain in a minute on, this, on my slow section, that pinky or a ring finger plays the fifth fret. You'll see that in the tab. first fret, second string, but because we want to open second string right after it, we'll get that C note on the, on the third string. It's really uh, your very basic introduction to what they call melodic playing, where you play a higher note on a lower string. This is really mind-boggling. You play the C note on the third string, and then you go to the second, second string open for the B note. That's a highlight of uh, melodic playing. So, uh, okay, so that's something new. And uh, I'll uh, post the tab in this video, and away you go. Okay, so if we break it down slowly here, Let's look at the first couple of measures. All right. So we got hold the C chord, 
and then get the third string open and then when you're going to take the lead in note is this one second fret third string there's your first down beat of the song fifth fret you can use your pinky on the third string fifth fret or your your ring finger but I use my pinky because then it's not as far to go right but if you're not using you used to using the pinky it's a good it's a good idea to learn because you're gonna have to use it for like a D chord or F chord right? so the sooner you get uh, using the, the little finger the pinky the better. Here we go in that part again, where I use the pinky. We're going. It's against the D minor chord. Open first. <laughs> third fret with the pinky, uh, second string, third fret with the ring finger, and then I use my index for a third string, second fret. Like that. So that's, we've used the D minor earlier in this song, but we didn't use that formation, because we want this, the melody notes on that first string, third fret. So that whole phrase. <laughs> Follow the tab, and uh, there you go. Have fun.